Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna create letter mark T logo inside Gravit Designer. And the reason why I choose Gravit for this kind of work because it's free and it has built-in as a matter grid, so it's ridiculously simple to draw this letter T here. And if you're not very confident in using the stamps, letter mark, word mark, and so on, make sure to check my video five types of logo explains they explain everything about logo marks word mark and what is the difference between them and last if you like to watch free tutorials and use free software don't forget to give a thumb up and appreciate the people who share something for free so let's get started with our logo design here inside gravit designer so, I'm gonna start with a new document, Alt-N or Option-N on your Mac to create a new document. I'm gonna size it with 1920 by 1080, click Create. First of all, select your artboard and navigate to your isometric grid, click Isometric and increase the size of your cells to 24 pixels. Make sure that you snap to grid, so go to the view, snap to, snap to grid, then Ctrl plus, Command plus to increase enlarge your scale your artwork then alt ctrl r or option command r i believe it's command uh, option r to show the rulers and i'm gonna grab my vertical guides and define some of the shapes of my letter t i'm gonna do the same with the horizontal rulers We need to define also a bar. I'm gonna leave this ruler here. Now I'm gonna start with the pen tool, so grab your pen tool. And create a line following your guides. And of course snap into the grid. Now I'm gonna grab my point tool. And holding Alt I'm gonna create a duplicate. It, it's uh, work fine because we have this uh, snap to grid option. I'm gonna place uh, my last line here, then grab the subsurface tool, select these two points on your right, and holding your left mouse button key, push it here, and the same here. So you're gonna push it here. It's uh, very large. I'm gonna decrease a bit the size. Like so. And now make a duplicate of this line as well. So grab your pointer tool. And holding Alt or Option key. Make some of the duplicates. Select them all, navigate to the fill, and select this uh, right left edge, and click on remove or trash icon. Then keep it selected, navigate to borders, and increase the border weight to around 5 or so, even 6. Now navigate to the very bottom of your letter T. Grab your pen tool, deselect this uh, line and draw a shape, pyramid shape, get rid of the fill, oh, sorry, uh, select your fill and make it uh, black, then go to the borders and increase it to 6 points. 
now we need to create this uh, kind of rectangles that helps us uh, with the negative space grab your fill make it dark then increase the border size to 6 very nice and now we need to make a duplicate with ctrl shift d or command shift d on your mark after doing duplicate navigate to this icon flip horizontal flip it and attach it here and uh, this is how my friends we can create this letter t design inside gravity designer hope you enjoy this tutorial if you have the same issue as i so this line is too, too short just grab your sub select uh, tool or click a and uh, with your arrow keys move it on the distance you want so this is basically the end of this tutorial if you enjoy it do not forget to subscribe to my channel share it with your friends go to the skillshare.com you can follow find the link in the description and go to my uh, adobe illustrator course I will show you how to be more productive using symbols inside Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching, have a nice day! So guys, before you go, I release a video almost every single day and I'm happy to hear from you what kind of logo we should create both in an Illustrator and Gravity Designer. So drop me a few words in comment box below and I'm happy to create something on your suggestion. So thank you for watching! Have a nice day!